Hi, the equation of a curve is xy times x times x minus 6y is equal to 9a cubed, where a is a non-zero constant. Show that there is only one point on the curve at which the tangent is parallel to the x-axis and find the coordinates of this point. Now then, this is the equation and we can expand it. So x, x y times x is going to be x square y minus x y times 6 y is going to be minus 6 x y squared and all of that is going to give us 9 a cube. This is definitely a, um, an implicit function. Therefore, we can differentiate this separately by calling x squared to be u and then v is going to be equal to y. And we know that du over dx is going to give us 2x while dv over dy is going to give us dy by dx times 1. So v du by dx plus u dv by dx. v du by dx is 2xy this times that plus u dv by dx. So x squared times dy by dx. So plus x squared dy by dx minus in brackets we're going to get um, 6x as the uh, variable u and then you're going to say um, v is going to equal to 2y square so du by dx is equal to 6 and dv by dx is going to, is going to equal to 2y dy by dx so again the same story, v du by dx, 6 times y squared is going to be 6y squared plus u dv by dx. u is 6x, dv by dx is 2y dy by dx. So 6x times 2y is going to be 12xy, not to forget the dy by dx. Now from here we're going to equate all of that to the constant 9a cube. If you differentiate this, you're going to get 0. So what do we have? For dy by dx minus here dy by dx. So I've got x squared minus 12xy. x squared minus 12xy. All of that times dy by dx, which is come on both sides. It's going to equal to, this is minus 6y squared. When you send this on the other side, it becomes plus 6y squared. 2xy goes on the other side, becomes minus 2xy. Now, clearly, dy by dx is going to equal to 6y squared minus 2xy. And all of it's going to be divided by this expression here. Because that's multiplied when you send it on the other side becomes divided by 12xy. We can equate dy by dx to 0 because we are told that um, the tangent is parallel to the x-axis. So the gradient is going to give us 0 at that point. Now 6y squared minus 2xy is equal to 0. This it's going to disappear anyway, but let me just write it to avoid any confusion in your mind. So I'm going to get then 6y squared minus 2xy is equal to simply 0. Because 0 times this is going to be 0. So the 2 can go and i got 3 here. The y can go and i got y here. So 3y, okay, is minus x is equal to 0. So 3y is going to equal to x. Now, we need to find the coordinates of that point. How are we going to do this? This x can be substituted into the equation. So the equation is xy times x minus 6y is equal to 9a cubed. What is x? 3y. So 3y times y is 3y cubed times x. x is 3y again. So 3y minus um, 6y is going to give us 9a cubed. Now, 
this was uh, x is equal to 3y, so 3y times y, so it's going to be a square, sorry, 3y times y is 3y square. 3y minus 6y is minus 3y times 3y squared is equal to 9a cubed. So what are we saying is that, um, sorry about that, 3, so that's going to be 9, minus 9y cubed is equal to 9a cubed. Okay, so the 9 9 can go, the cube and cube can go, I'm left with minus y is equal to a, that means y is equal to minus a. So if y is going to equal to minus a and uh, x is equal to 3y, therefore x is going to be equal to minus 3a, isn't it? If this is minus a, so we are sitting with a coordinate like this. Now because a is a non-zero constant, alright, so under the assumption if a is equal to any value for that matter, what is the minimum value of a? Let a is equal to, let us say, 1. What am I going to get? I'm going to get minus 3 times 1, which is minus 3, and minus 1. And this question is taken from October 2016, Advanced Level Maths, HSE, Paper 3. Take care.